Um, and, you know, there was a moment where Jay, I was playing defense against Cade and he went to the hole and I got elbowed in the face. Like, the first possession. Flagrant elbow. Um, so I was, you know, a welcome to NBA moment. What's up, all you Piston fans? It's your boy, Flagrant Elbow, back with another one. Today, we're talking about Hamadou Diallo and what he's doing in the Flint community, my hometown. Uh, he had a Hami Day basketball camp over at Flint Northwestern High School. We got an article on it from Mike Curtis, the new beat writer for the Pistons at the Detroit News. Very good article here. He wrote a lot of interesting points, and we're going to get into that and share that. Uh, some of the points that Hamadou brought out. And also Earl Curitan, he was there as well, two-time NBA champion. And he made some good statements as far as how kids uh, feel and can relate <clears throat> when they get a chance to meet these NBA players. So we're going to get into the article before we get started. We want to thank everybody so, uh, so far for subscribing, for liking the channel, for joining in the comments, adding um, uh, your two cent, listening to my two cent. And we got four cent, almost five cent together. So we th want to thank everybody that's been subscribing. We have 377 subscribers right now, I believe. Um, just want to thank everybody. I um, appreciate all the support. And I can't wait for uh, camp to start. Been enjoying these Lions and the Hard Knocks um, program that's been on HBO Max. I've been enjoying all of that. I know you guys have too. So it's a lot of good things going on here in Detroit. And this article uh, caught my eye and attention because of what's going on um, as far as what Hamadou Diallo is doing for the community of Flint who have a uh, community that's been through a lot. So for the children, it was about a, um, 100 children, or close to 100, about 80 it says, children that were sitting there um, and able to make it to this camp waiting on Hamadou Diallo. And he finally showed up after they went through some drills with Earl Curitan and things of that sort, uh, they got a chance to be up close and personal with Diallo. And that's nice, man. Kids love things like that. Things like this, kids will remember for the rest of their life. And that's something that, um, um, that's the points that Hamadou Diallo brought out as far as how kids feel about that and how he felt. He said, this is, this is his words here, talking to the Detroit News. This is better than having that great game that you imagine as a kid. As a kid, this is the type of impact that I wanted growing up and being able to do it for as many kids as I can around the world is just a blessing. So not only were the kids um, enjoying this, but also um, the Hamadou was enjoying it too and enjoyed giving back. And it brought out too in the article that he had just came back last weekend of doing something in his hometown, Harlem, New York, giving away backpacks and had a bowling night there in Queens, New York, I'm sorry. So that was nice for him to come down and do something here. No doubt uh, Gores had something to do with it as well. Gores is from the city of Flint also. Um, so being able to bring Hami here is real good and real nice for the Pistons um, organization and also for the community here in Flint. Um, so another point that was made by Earl Curitan was that how kids can watch these ball, ball players on television, see them in commercials, but never really have a chance to get up personal to them and talk with them, let alone a lot of these community children don't have a chance to even go to a game. So when they're able to see um, someone up close like that, it's a, it's a real positive thing. So we appreciate how both of them were tuned in to the children and the impact that being able to be present, that impact that it's gonna have on those children in the long term, especially they get to learn some basketball skills also. So seeing that these players are not just tall, but they're real humans and uh, seeing that they care about the children as well is really nice for us to read about, to talk about, because we know how it makes the children feel. So, what has Hamadou Diallo been doing in his off season? He says he's been working on everything, um, defense and offense. Every part of his game he's been working on. And he made this statement, he said, we hear the chatter, we hear what the people want, we hear what the world thinks, so we hear everything. I'm just in the lab trying to get better each and every day, trying to build this chemistry with this young team we got coming in. Most importantly, just trying to do whatever I can on the court to help us win some games. That's the biggest objective. So we like that kind of talk because uh, winning is what this organization wants to get back around to. Winning is what we're used to. All of those Piston fans, the going to work Piston fans, bad boy era Piston fans, um, the going to work especially, man, we was in the Eastern Conference Finals every year. Every year for, four, for about five years straight. So the Pistons had deep playoff runs. That was a fun period of time and the Pistons trying to restore that. So we definitely want to see how it goes and to hear Hamadou Diallo 
talk about that and that that's his goal and aim is important as well. And it also brought out uh, how many he averaged 11 points, 4.8 rebounds last season with the Pistons. And in that crowded backcourt, we don't know where he's going to fall, but he said he's looking to get going. He says, we got good pieces. We got good talent. And now we just got to put it together and win some games. And here he says something that I always say. Everything looks good on paper, but we got to put it together and win some games. Only people that can do that is us. So that's kind of how I felt about it. We look, we look good on paper. We're all optimistic. Um, we just got to see him go out there and get it. And that's why one of my comments I posted on Twitter today, uh, one of my tweets I put, posted on Twitter today was bringing out, hey, um, even with the preseason, we got we to gotta go in there looking to win those games. Set the culture, set the standard of winning. And even though it's just preseason, um, you, you, you want to see your team establishing that as a standard. Not to the detriment of being injured. Of course, we don't want anyone to get injured. We want to play safe. But whether or not you in the top in the rotation, a starter, rotation player, or whatever, bench player, trying out for, for, for the bench, to come for the bench, to play for the bench, whatever your role is, you want to go in there with the mentality of trying to win that game. Even coach, coach to win, coach to win. So we look forward to the upcoming um, camp, upcoming preseason. In the meantime, once again, we're going to watch them Lions and, and enjoy watching them in hard knocks and also uh, them as they put pieces together um, to win in the preseason and going into the season here shortly. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. Beautiful article here once again by Mike Curtis, Detroit News beat writer. Um, and the article was entitled, Pistons Hamadou Diallo gives back to Flint community with Hamaday basketball camp. So just wanted to share that with everybody. Once again, thank you all for subscribing. Please um, continue to share, continue to like, continue to comment. And you, you know how I do. I'll get with you in the comment section and reply. Um, and everybody want to be respectful of other people, but encourage you to continue to hit that like button and share the videos. And with that being said, I want everybody Stay safe.